What's up you guys, Isaac with a chance here, here for my 24th video review. And today we're going to be looking at Transformers Studio Series Autobot Jazz. So for the package, there you got the, that open window of Jazz inside the package. And then you got his uh, weapon, like his gun shield, or I don't know what kind of weapon this is that he has in the movie. I think it's some kind of gun shield or something, I'm not sure. And then here's the post of Jazz here, and then he, well, he is number 10 from Transformers 1, from 2007, from um, 11 years ago. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, this is the Jazz that was in Transformers on the first movie 11 years ago when it first came out in theaters. And then, and he, and this was made by Hasbro, and then they got Jazz um on the side here, and there goes the Autobot logo, and then you got jazz here and also the number 10 so on the and then you get the uh transformers transformers name up here as well now on the back you got jazz all the way there's jazz um all the way in the back with his um robot mode also his car mode and he transforms 19 steps and um you can read uh the text right here if you want to I know it's hard to make it um, look clear most of the times <clears throat> yep and then you and you do get some other figure other three figures like Bumblebee Stinger and Lockdown I already got Bumblebee and Stinger I don't have Lockdown well I do have Ironhide but I'm gonna I might try to review him as well him Prime Ratchet and Bumblebee I'll try that it yep so that's about it so with the pack so the package of jazz that's about it so let me get him out and see how awesome he actually is so here we have autobot jazz open up and out of his package and also in his vehicle mode which i don't know what kind of car this is i'm not i don't know anything about cars this much which all i know is so jazz Jazz looks amazing with this vehicle mode. You know, if I showed y'all the robot mode from the package, it looks really, it looks better than the one from the first Transformers movie. You know, I was a little when I watched Transformers. If, if you guys have seen, if y'all have seen Transformers one, he was, he was, broken in half by Megatron during the final battle, which is really sad. I know. Right? I I miss Jazz too. From Transformers 1. We all miss him. But anyway. Jazz's car looks so hit so the so so I like really like the silver all over this car. So that so I like I really like the silver on the vehicle like he had in the first Transformers film. And there I don't see the Autobot symbol anywhere right now. No Autobot symbol at all. So yeah, no Autobot symbol. He, he does come with um this which I don't know what this is it's some kind of sh some kind of shield gun I'm not sure what I'm not sure what kind of weapon this is from jazz jazz is jazz I don't know what kind of weapon this is but I think I only know this is a gun well more like a shield gun because because of this um because of this looks like a shield to me he does come with the um he also comes with the um the um the cardboard set from the from the rest that the other Transformers Studio series figures have so he does come with the um set from Transformers 1 and this is where they had the final battle in, in some downtown city in the city of downtown or something from the movie and I really like these cardboards. I'm glad these Transformers get these cardboards for the first time. From I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. I think Hasbro probably figured out they want to make some Studio Series figures because they've probably seen all the Transformers. I think Hasbro seen all the Transformers movies. That's probably why they're making all these cool Studio Series figures. And he does come with the menu if you're having trouble with Jazz. Um, you can always look at the menu anytime you like. You know. He does look amazing, though. Jazz is one of my favorite, also one of my favorite Transformers characters, by the way. <coughs> so, this, 
He's one of the small. He know in the movie he's one of the smallest Autobots. I think he's I think he's smaller than Bumblebee in the uh, movie. I don't know, but all I don't know. In, well, in the cartoon, I don't know if he was taller than smaller, taller than Bumblebee. All I know, I don't know. Well, Bumblebee was much. Auto Bumblebee was a smaller Autobot, more like a more like a like a tall human size, um, Transformer from G one. And Jazzy was probably smaller than Bumblebee, I guess. I'm not sure. Well, he's the smallest right now, most recently. So, so for the transformation, it looks it looks quite different from the first Transformers movie toys, Jazz. So I'm gonna go ahead and transform him. So, it's, so get down the transformation. The transformation looks easy, most recently. So first, you wanna take. You wanna take this. You wanna take this out I think you gotta take oh great I <clears throat> oh well I'll go I'll go go over to it so get over it so first you want to take the, the legs out first just like that <clears throat> then you want to take this other leg out I'm out got it and then the arms are finally well the arms are out right now mostly and then you want to take these out like that. Then you want to, with the arms, you want to take this, attach it down like that. And do the same on this side. <clears throat> take the arm out and attach down just like that. And then you can bend it if you like. And then, yeah, no, just ignore that. And then you want to take these, you want to take the hands out. Oops, sorry, my hand was in the way. That's my fault. Okay, so you want to be very gentle, because I know his hands might come off. Boom. Then you want to take the other hand, take this out, just like that. And then you want to twist the entire torso, just like that. And then you want to take... I don't know how I'm going to take the head out. Oh, great. I know it's hard to take this head out. I think I got it. I think I got it. Wait. I got it. All right, I'm going to try it again. All right, so you want to take this. You want to take the head out just like that. I, I didn't know. Sorry, y'all. And then you can put... Wait, you got to take... You can take the arms. Take this all the way out. And then you can put his arms down. At least he put his hands in the air like he just don't care. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. So anyway, so with the body, you want to take this. Put it all the way back. And then with the, with this, with, with the back here, you want to take this. Bent this down. And looks more like a cape right now. Just put the arms up so I can show y'all how it's done. And then you want to push this back. Just like that. And then you want to collapse the entire body in. And then you can put this down. Then with the legs, you want to... <clears throat> you want to take the legs. You're going to um, put this all the way... Oh, wait. I know how to do this. So with these, you want to take these out, just like that. And then we'll create the legs. And then you want to do the same with this. Okay. Yeah, Jazz is small. Yeah, Hasbro did a great job with this toy. So anything else? Oh, 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 I know how to do this. So you want to... Anything else? Okay. So then you want to take this and push it down. Just like that. Oops. <sighs> yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Never mind. I got it. Can this tab in? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that, Jazz. I'm gonna take the heel out. 
Oh, okay. No, I know what I'm doing. Okay, so you want to take this. You want to take this part down, I think. I'll take this part. I'm just trying to see better. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm just trying to be able to see better. And then you want to put this in. There's no time to this leg. Oh, well. I'll just leave it. I'll just leave it. It's fine. And then you want to do the same with this. So you want to do the same with this. And then you want to take this, attach it down, just like that. Then you want to go ahead and put this in. Probably jet. Probably sh Hold on a second. Make sure. Yeah, there are no tabs. Oh, well. I guess this just goes in. Oh, okay. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. Sorry. So what I did was, you want to take this, and you want to see, you see this piece, and this will attach in. Well, this piece here will attach. No, this, this piece will attach here, so you want to grab that and put it all the way in to make the leg tight. That's my fault, guys. Uh, I'll just leave the rest alone for now. Hold on. Yeah, it's fine. Hold on. Just leave it. That's all I can do for now. You can watch some other videos anyway. Uh, you guys having trouble with jazz. So anyway, so there you have Autobot Jazz. Oh, wait. Sorry. So first, I'm, I am so sorry. So you want to take this, by the way. You want to take this piece out. I forgot. And then you want to, hold on, I got to take this all the way out. And then you want to go ahead and turn it around just like that. Damn it. Yep. So when you're done, there you have Autobot Jazz in his robot mode. So I really, oh, wait. Ugh, just leave it. I'll just leave it alone. It's fine. It's fine. So I really like I really like his transformation. And I really like him. He's really small. He's kind of like the same height as the Studio Series Bumblebee that I just got. Or we, or everybody just got. Or some people. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, Jazz looks lo looks amazing. I really like the way he's... You know, this is much better than um, Jazz we just got from Transformers 1. Well, I'm talking about the toy we just had um 11 years ago which is an oldie <laughs> i'll take that back jazz <laughs> so so with the um so with the head sculpt it looks great and i like the way hasbro took their time um 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 creating this figure and make the transformation look easy yeah so yeah so what I have a problem is is with the backpack and I don't know why they put the backpack on there. I know I think some reviewers like take the backpack off after they take after they do the transformation. Yeah, but I don't want to take the backpack off. I'm glad they put the nail on it anyway. I would, I wanted to leave the, I wanted to leave the backpack on anyway. So articulation, Jazz can um bend his arms like always, like the other Transformers Studio Series figures. Like I said, this is my first time getting jazz, and and then his I know his head can't really swivel this well sometimes, but at least he can look up and down. But oh, okay, now he's doing it. All right. So with the legs, I know that I'm having trouble with, with the problem with the legs. It doesn't have a tab. Oh, I think it does or does not. I know, y'all, but. This is all this is all I can do for now for Jazz. Sorry, Jazz. That's all I can do for you, pal. That's all I can do for you. So with the weapon, you wanna attach this to the left arm here. So you wanna grab his hand and then you wanna So you will attach 
this, you want to attach this to his hand right about here. So what you will do is you want to tap this in. Boom, and he's ready for action. Jazz looks very cool. I'm glad I got this guy for the first time. Yeah, but he looks really, really amazing. So that's all I gotta say to this video, and that's about it for Jazz. This is all I can do for now. So about about escape room, I'm just gonna do it tomorrow for now. So I was gonna do it. To, I was gonna do it today. I mean, like right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it tomorrow. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just a little tired here. <laughs> But, well, yeah, long day, I know. Well, that's all I got to say to the video um, about Transformers Studio Series Jazz. And he looks cool. So that's all I got to say to this video. Um, be sure, so tomorrow, I'm going to do the trailer for Escape Room tomorrow for now. I'm sorry, but I'm really tired. So I'm going to do the trailer tomorrow. So that's all I got to say to this video. So be sure to like, subscribe, press notification button, follow me on Instagram, comment down below, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.